Hey, what's going on, people? It's Smiley. I'm not going to say it's your boy because y'all probably never heard of me. So, the NBA season is coming up soon. And as I look at the final rosters for all 30 NBA teams, there's some teams who I'm really looking forward to watching. These teams are definitely not going to win the chip and may not even make the playoffs. But it really doesn't matter because I'm going to have fun watching them because I love basketball. Y'all don't know me, so do y'all want me to prove how much I love basketball? I watch almost every Nick game because I still believe in Frank Nielakina. Do I have problems? Yes. Anyway, I am limiting my list to teams that are not a lot to make the playoffs and are lacking a superstar. And the teams I'm picking are usually below the radar small market teams because I feel like they're, they're the big women of the league. But big girls need love too. And I love big girls. That was off topic. But here we go. Top three funnest small market teams of 2021 season. All right. Starting off the list, we have the Kings. <sighs> this is a little bit personal. So let's go back to the 2019 Kings season. They were a relatively young team with a lot of potential. Fox has taken a jump from his lackluster rookie season. He was playing off ball and being one of the premier shooters in the league. And Bogdan was coming to his own. And there were some solid pieces that weren't the best, but played hard. And the pace was fast and exciting. Because that's what you should be when you have the Aaron Fox on your team. Let, let me calm down. As a young team, they lost games that they should have won. But the thought was that they were going to run it back. But they fired Jaeger, a coach that I feel like should at least got another chance based on the expectations of the season. But whatever, but whatever. Obviously, they had someone in mind. Then came this bitch who slowed the pace and made Buddy Hill have more on-ball opportunities, even though his decision-making sucks. And 20th pace in the league with De'Aaron Fox? Hello? Am I, are y'all sensing a problem? However, however, let, let, let me calm down. However, coming into the season, I truly hope that Walton will get his head out of his ass and make them run again. They are a very exciting team when they run, and I still feel like they have potential. I like Holmes, I like Fox, and Bagley is still exciting even though I hope he can use his weekend better this season and stay healthy and I can't wait to see Tyrese this can be a solid and exciting team let's just hope some people see that okay Pelicans let's try this again so we all thought y'all were going to make the playoffs because Adam Silver damn near put the ball on the tee for you but it wasn't meant to be However, this year is where we all hope y'all take that jump because y'all are a very excited team. Stan Van Gundy, good coach for this team because I know the defense is going to be addressed and Lord knows does it need to be addressed. All right, so first we got Lonzo with the great passes and some great defense. The way he maneuvers in the fast break is amazing to watch. Let's just hope that free throw goes up along with the finishing because that is what he needs for his game to really open up to make those really amazing passes. Brandon Ingram really showed out this year and they have some good free agent pickups with Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe that can help with the pace that they're going for. I also don't really like Pelicans right now because they got Kyra Lewis right before my Celtics and I, I was upset. However, with some nice young pieces, they are sure to be a signed team. All right, so we're going to talk about the dishonorable mentions. What? I forgot. I, I forgot. I forgot someone. Let me. No, nah, no, nah, nah, let me look at the roster. I mean, Josh Hart is good. All right, let's talk about Zion. Zion is one of the main reasons why this team is exciting, not only for his play, but also for his question marks. Does he have the stamina? Can he guard threes and fours? Is he injury prone? 
Can he stay out the gumbo? All that. Zion is an enigma that everybody wants to figure out. And we're going to see this season. Hopefully he figures it out, man. So we have the dishonorable mention. And I'm sorry, Detroit. <laughs> Y'all going to have to take this. I'm sorry, but the Pistons are easily the team I am almost never watching. And I feel bad for Pistons fans so much. Y'all got rid of Luke for McGruder and Bay? Christian Wood for Isaiah Stewart and a second round pick? I guess you want to tank, but man, that is depressing. Hopefully, Blake comes back and stays healthy and Killing Hayes balls out, who I am extremely high on. But damn, look at that roster. <laughs> to the diehard Pistons fans, keep your head up and just wait for Kate to scoop you off your feet. That That's all I got. <laughs> the number one pick is the Timberwolves. Yeah, the Timberwolves. I'm watching this team all year for so many reasons. First, I need to see where Larsa Pippen is going to sit. And then I got to see Jordan Woods. And then you know D'Lo's going to bring some bat. My fault. Okay, back to basketball. If you look at the lineup, they look fun. D'Lo has always been a player that is fun to watch for me. I love crafty guards, and Russell is one of the craftiest. Beasley is a solid all-around player. Anthony Edwards is in a great situation where he doesn't need to be the man, and hopefully that limits the bad shot selection. It helps him do what he needs to do, which is cause havoc. And I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Towns is the best shooting big man I have seen. The type of shots he hits is absurd. Whether he's coming off the screen, face up, step back, it is all there. And he shoots 41% from three-point range on eight a game. He is one of the funnest to watch. They also got Rubio, which is an ice on the cake with his passing and his good vibes. I don't know what to tell you. The man has good vibes. They're not going to be able to stop a fly, but it's still going to be fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching this team no matter what. And if you want to see me analyze and react to these games, please hit the subscribe button and like while you're down there. As always, peace, King. Hello, people. Uh, this was one of my first videos like this. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I hope you enjoyed. I, I, I'm guessing you enjoyed if you made it this far. So if you can, can you please like and subscribe and everything and follow me on Twitter. Uh... That, that's about it. I hope you liked it and peace king times two.